was hungry, now when the game turned greedy Was known to be needy, now was people that need me Battling up the dead because I'm What's up everybody? How you doing? This is Max Boogie from Wall Street and I got the last game of the season for Daniel Taylor. Unfortunately, the Dolphins weren't going to the playoffs. They weren't going to make it. Their record, they're at like the bottom of their division. So you can see it's partially because Tannehill, he was out for the first half of the season or a couple of games and Matt Moore had to step in and he did not do good. But Tannehill seems to be getting himself back together after like the last game. He didn't really play that well, so he's been really trying in practice. You can see he's throwing passes now for actually for first downs. And right there, unfortunately, Wallace drops the pass, and Antonio Cromartie ends up picking it up before it hits the ground. So that interception leads to a New York Jets touchdown. And we coming out back on the second drive. And Daniel Taylor, he's just mad at it now. He's like, yo, just put the ball in my hands. I'm going to run some people over. And that's that's how it's going to go. If they lose the game, it's all because it's Daniel Taylor. It's the last game. It doesn't really count towards anything except for, like, the record at the end of the season. But, you know, Daniel Taylor, he, he was just tired of losing. And he tried to take over the game before. But it, it, it was too late to try to take it over, man. So now it's starting early in the first quarter. You want to see a whole lot more rushing plays right here. We got the pistol. And they added in some new formations in the Miami Dolphins playbook so the coach has been really trying to think of how the next season will be and the play action gets the defense leaving the wide Devery Henderson wide over for a 34 yard gain and that puts him over 5,000 NFL career receiving yards so pretty good for him him and Mike Wallace I think got over 5,000 now so on second and goal we got stuffed on the first first and goal and we get stuffed again on second and goal. So now it's third and goal on the one yard line. And it doesn't look like we can score, but now nah, we fall in there to get the first rushing touchdown of the game for the Miami Dolphins. You can see Daniel Taylor's happy about this, man. It's been a long time since he actually scored um, on the second drive of the game. He usually had to score in like the fourth quarter, but he's still taking over. The defense of, my, of the Miami Dolphins stopped the uh, Geno Smith from scoring or getting any points so they punted us back the ball and the speed is taking in effect right there a couple of defenders dove at daniel taylor but they couldn't end up catching him so he's still running the ball here in the second quarter ends up coming to a third and 15 they bring a blitz and Tannehill gets sacked so daniel taylor not happy about it they go for it on fourth down and what do you know Tannehill throws another pick this time to who is Wilson I don't even know who Wilson is but it almost gets returned for a pick six but like yo really though Tannehill really needs to work like he, he has to go harder in practice especially after this game because we we gonna have to make the playoffs next season so here we go we're still running the ball second and five and it's 20 seconds left in the quarter and we still running the ball it's a nice juke move by Daniel Taylor and he's actually coming along with it he used to just run over people, try to stiff arm them, but the juke is getting there. So, second and six, he gets a four-yard gain right there. Now, the pistol formation, we do the screen. Kind of, pass was kind of thrown far behind the line of scrimmage, but we able to get the first down. And we got like 20 yards on that. But look at Tannehill's stats right here. Over 100 yards, zero touchdowns, and two interceptions already. So, we still running the ball. Daniel Taylor is calling. He's telling the coach, yo, just, just give me the ball. Like, that's that's what you want to do. Run another screen play for another first down. So, if Daniel Taylor gets the ball, it's going to be a better chance of the Dolphins winning right here. Because we're only down by three. And we're third and goal. We get stopped inside the five. And they decide to go for it again. But get stopped. Stuffed at the one yard line but luckily the defense got a fumble and now the next play they get in the end zone so it's 10 to 14 right now Daniel Taylor gotta do another touchdown celebration he has like 24 carries right now for like 80 something yards so they've been giving him the ball a lot now they come back with the counter Daniel Taylor ducking under um number 77's arm right there he's about to get clotheslined or something Coming back with the counter again, going through the hole, getting that first down. Sheldon Richardson making that tackle. I actually like the D-line of the Jets. 
Muhammad Wilkerson and Sheldon Richardson do have some nice block sheds, but they really couldn't tell this game. Like they were getting some tackles, but not as much as the Bills. And another big run play. The cornerback got faded on that one. He got body slammed or something. So it's 30 rushes for 131 yards in the fourth quarter. And we're still up by four. And we still running the ball. Got a five yard gain on first down. Who going in right now? Daniel Taylor, he's just getting the ball whenever he wants. And it looks like it's working here. We get another first down. That's showing that strength. He has the potential to be a great running back in the NFL. So in the offseason, they're going to practice a little bit more. And hopefully he can do stuff like that next season. He jumped over the line. Jumped over the whole line falling into that end zone. Got to thank the fullback on that one. And Rex Ryan. Does not like that at all. Philbin, I don't know. He's I don't know if he's happy or not. He doesn't have any facial expression. But look at the leap over the line getting the touchdown. The Jets defenders didn't know what to do on this one. It was a nice hurdle though. He jumped. He went over people's heads right there. They didn't know what to do. And now it's now you're gonna see Philbin patting him on the butt, you know, pointing at his dreads. He knows he knows Daniel Taylor gonna be something nice next year. And we come out running the ball again under a minute left. And they use their last timeout. So this game is basically over. There's five seconds left. We run a counter, misses that tackle, and Daniel Taylor is gone for another touchdown. He dove into the end zone. That's crazy, man. That's I think that's four rushing touchdowns on the day. He's over there flexing at the camera. Phil been showing the expressions on his face. But that's crazy. Man. It was a great last game for the Miami Dolphins. Kind of makes up for the bad season that they had. But look, at that's the speed that they need, man. That's crazy speed right there. Um, that, It really makes up for the, the whole season that the Dolphins had. They had an injury at quarterback. The defense kind of was there the whole season, but they did let up a lot of points sometimes. So, it's all good. Clabo, nice blocking on that play. Big three right there on offense, but this game did end with four rushing touchdowns for Daniel Taylor. He scored all the Dolphins' points, and the Jets only scored 13 points. So, that's really crazy. Geno Smith, eh, you got to get better next year. Daniel Taylor getting better next year. So is Tannehill, so of course he's the player of the game. 41 carries, 184 yards, and four touchdowns for Daniel Taylor. That's crazy, man. What a game. But um, this video is coming to an end. So always remember, in the street reach rush, almost messed that up, but I'm out.